Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Rocks Polis. This is my Polis for the week of March 18th, 2020. Like most of the United States, um, you may or may not be affected by what's going on with the coronavirus or uh, COVID-19. Um, in the Bay Area where I live, we are on a shelter in place. So only uh, essential work is allowed for people to leave their homes. Uh, people can go and take a walk and stuff like that. Um, but we're supposed to be practicing social distancing and all that wonderful stuff. Um, so yeah, so uh, the comic book store, Work at Comics Conspiracy, we are officially closed to the public for um, um, coming into the store and browsing like you would nor a normal uh, business. But we are doing online sales still. Our subscription service is still active and still pumping. Um, so if you uh, are, are in need of some comics, we are currently still mailing out comics um, and uh, expect to continue to get our shipments of books um, going forward. Um, next week, we got this week's books, and next week's books are should be already on their way to us. Uh, hopefully this trend continues and we keep getting product, but we shall see. Um, so yeah, so stay... Uh, you know, stay alert, stay updated on everything that's going on with uh, um, the COVID virus. And uh, yeah, so um, and if you order from us online uh, and we're shipping it to you, I'm the one that keeps uh, I still have a job in doing the shipping stuff. So, uh, yeah, so there'll be a link in the description below to check out Commerce Conspiracy. Uh, if you want to know the website, it's commerceconspiracy.biz. Um, we do have a uh, um, a point of sale system we use called comic hub you can sign up through an account there uh, there's a link uh on uh the store page to or there's ways to figure there you can do that through the store page or you can go to the store's facebook page to get all that information um but we are constantly uh updating all that so but you're here because it's another week of comics it's a, a new comic wednesday and i got this week's books for you to check out the ones that i picked up so first up we have aquaman number 58 um, yeah, it's, it's been so long since I've actually read Aquaman, or that I forgot what happened. Um, I'm a little behind, I think. I don't, I don't quite remember. Um, but I've been, it, we'll see. I think Kelly Sudeconic, uh, has kind of gotten into a rhythm with the characters, and so it's gotten a lot better. Uh, but when she first picked up the reins, uh, it was really rough. Next up, we have Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen's Ascender, number 10. Uh, if you have not checked out Ascender, you should probably check it out, but I would recommend checking out Descender first. Uh, it is completed and finished, so if it's something that you want in these shelter-in-place times to try and pick up something to read, that's something I would recommend is Descender. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, but uh, I, I've loved it. Ascender's great. Check it out. Next up is Batman 91. Um, Batman, there's been some Batman mania craze with the last few issues of Batman with punchline joker's new girlfriend um so yeah so there's a lot of speculation been going on so people have not been able to get copies of those second and third prints of those books are coming to stores so be on the lookout we did get a, a decent stack of second prints of 89 for the shop so if you go to uh, commerceconspiracy.biz and search for that we have it and you can purchase it uh next up is one that i didn't pick up uh i think last week or the week before but uh, that's because I wanted the other cover, but we didn't have it. Um, and that's Mark Russell's new one from Ahoy Comics, and it's Billionaire Island, number one. I'm curious to see what Mark Russell has in store for us in this. Uh, Mark Russell does a, great, does a great job of political commentary and social commentary and all this stuff in his stories that doesn't feel forced. It feels natural, and it's actually funny and, and really just a good, good, solid, solid uh, job of writing uh, for Mark Russell. So... I'm curious about Billionaire Island. I really like Second Coming. Uh, his prez was amazing. Uh, Flintstone's fantastic. Again, if you're going to be home, stuck home, here's some, re you know, I'm going to be throwing out reading um, recommendations all throughout uh, my my uh, videos, um, my pull list videos. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, next up is a facsimile edition. That's Brave and the Bold, number 28. Um, it's, it's the Justice League Brave and the Bold story with Starro. Like, I love Starro, so I figured I'd check that one out. Next up is a Deceased Unkillables, number two of three. Tom Taylor brings us back into the Deceased universe, which he did a fantastic job um, um, on. And uh, yeah, it gives us a different from a, or a perspective from more of the villain perspective. So we'll see. 
Uh, next up, we have uh, Robert Kirkman's Die, 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 number nine. Die, Die, Die is continuing, so we're going to check out and see where it goes with that story. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's okay. So, um, uh, it's definitely very violent and bloody, so if you're not into that in your comic books, I wouldn't recommend picking up Die, Die, Die. Uh, next up is a new Valiant book, and that's Dr. Tomorrow, number two. Um, and the first book was interesting. It's basically, you know, kid gets powers, goes back in time to have himself help out with stuff. It's time jumping. It's all confusing, so we'll see what happens. But it's been interesting, so I'm going to keep going with it. Next up, we have a Justice League number 43. Robert Vendetti's taking over the reins. I've read the first at least issue of his run, and I enjoyed it, so I can't wait to read the rest of it. Um, so I'm really curious to see what he has in store for the Justice League. Um, especially coming off the heels of Scott Snyder, Vendetti's done a decent job. I think he's come come into his own in picking up the reins from somebody who has, has had a really solid run on something. Um, so I'm really curious to see where Vendetti takes the Justice League. Next up is Marvel Action Spider-Man number two. This one's for my son because he says, Daddy, I wanted some Spider-Man books. So I snagged up the Spider-Man. Uh, my live studio audience over there, best because I have kids and they're not in school. Uh, he's over there doing his um, extra math program on his Chromebook. Uh, so he's studying away and being quiet while I'm doing this. So thanks, bud. You're welcome, Betty. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have uh, Nightwing number 70. This is the Journey to Joker War. Um, yes, I normally don't pick up Nightwing because... Um, I just haven't been a fan of the book, but this is tying in with the Joker War stuff. And, of course, there's stuff going on with punchlines. So if you... We were already sold out of this issue before it even hit the shelves. Yes, or before we even hit the shelves today. Um, so, yeah, so shops probably didn't order very many. So tr trying to track this down is going to be tricky. Um, but I do believe issue 71 and 72 are going to continue having punchline in it or connected to Joker War. So be on the lookout for that stuff as well. If FOC is up for 71, make sure you let your shop know that you want that issue and you want 72. Um, or you just say, hey, everything tying in with Joker War, please let me get, or please, you know, put me down for, or anything tied to Punchline, let me put you down for. Again, it is important that you're communicating with your local comic shop about what you want, prepaying for your stuff, and even in, you know, even if you're not picking it up now, paying for it helps out immensely. It'll be there for you and on hold. I know a lot of stores are doing curbside pickup or delivery. Uh, we're in the process of figuring out what we can do with curbside, if we can do curbside at Comics Conspiracy, but we are doing delivery. So, yeah, that segue. Let's finish up the, the <laughs> full list, though. Uh, next up is a uh, the Robin 80th Anniversary 100-Page Spectacular. Uh, this is the 40s variant um, for the book. Um, I This is the only one I wanted. All the other artists were decent, but I'm not necessarily the hugest Robin fan. Um, so I love Jim Lee art, so that's the one I picked up. And there's a ton more covers. There's a blank cover, and there was uh, a regular cover, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So check your shop. See if you like it. Next up, uh, I picked up Something is Killing the Children, number six. But I picked up the Jenny Friesen variant because I thought it was that was the way better cover. Um, both covers were really good, but... I, I went with the Jenny Friesen. Something is Killing the Children is fantastic. Uh, it's definitely one of those things that if you haven't been checking it out, pick up the first trade when it comes out. It's a good, solid, solid book. Next up is another one for my son, and that's Star Wars Adventures number 31. I know this one's coming to an end, and they're going to relaunch it soon. So, yep, but hey, that's the Marvel way. Relaunch, relaunch, relaunch. Next up is uh, Teen Titans number 40. Um, curious to see where this goes. Teen Titans has been, it's been okay. It hasn't been immaculately great, but it's been okay. Adam Glass has done a fair job on the book, um, so I'm going to continue with it. Uh, next up we have Undiscovered Country number five. I'm going to think about an issue behind on Undiscovered Country, but I, it's, it's amazing. Snyder and Soul have done a fantastic job with the book. Um, I think people have had issues with kind of the pacing, um, but it's trying to tell a large story. So I think single issues is difficult at this point, but if you if you can get through it and then or get to read the trade, I think it will pay off. I believe, just believe it will pay off. It's still good. I mean, it's it's really enjoyable. So, next up is the visitor number four. I need to get caught up on this book because I'm a little behind, so I don't know what the visitor is doing. Um, and next up we have uh, Tyian the Fourth's 
Uh, Year of the Villain, Hell Risen, number four of four. I have not yet read any of the Hell Risen books. I need to actually sit down and read that series um, and get it finished. Um, but yeah, being um, super busy uh, as of late and again, focusing more on novels versus um, comic books has really dwindled the amount of comic books I've been reading. Um, so I need to get back on track with that. Uh, with having to shelter in place and stay home, we I have plenty more time. Um, but again, I'm having to put on more hats than just dad, single dad. I have to put on educator dad um, and all that stuff. So cook dad, chef dad. Tired dad. I'm always tired dad. Always, always. It's a permanent. It's like tattooed hat. Um, so yeah. A uh, handful of variant covers I picked up this week. Uh, there was a pretty cool one for Batman in 91 with uh, Penguin on the cover. So I snagged that one up. Deceased Unkillables 2, of course, had a couple more variants. There was an awesome Cheetah variant there. And then, of course, the movie tie-in one for Full Metal Jacket. So I thought that one was really sweet as well. Uh, Phil Noto did the cover for Undiscovered Country number 5, which I thought definitely picking that one up. Um, so yeah, and uh, there was a couple books that I picked up for, as reader copies this week. Um, one is Starship Down from Dark Horse. This is a new number one. I figured I'd check it out. Uh, we'll see. And the other one was X-Force number nine, uh, because X-Force has been at least the decent book out of all of the Marvel stuff. I read the last X-Men book and wanted to shoot myself. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know that... Hawks and Pox did an amazing job, and the aftermath has not followed up and, and been what it should have been. So, there's that. Uh, I did uh, pick up a uh, a manga, so to speak. Um, we, I was sitting at work yesterday waiting to finish up, and I started reading. Uh, we had this up at the front, and I just, I've seen it, and I've restocked it numerous times. And I decided to pick it up, and that was the life-changing manga of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to read this and see if, if, if I need to clean up anything or how my life is. Um, but, uh, yeah, 25 pages in, it was really, really interesting. So I'm really curious to, to check this out and see what that has. Um, because it's, you know, it's a nice graphic novel based on uh, what Marie Kondo has tried to do for people. So who knows? Um, that's it for this week of books. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to try and get more stuff, more content up for you because I know everybody's going to be home and you're going to be absorbing so much content. It's going to be ridiculous. So hopefully I'll be getting into getting some of those unboxing videos up for you as well as maybe just doing a couple of videos on, um, things, uh, just talking about random things. So if you have any questions, um, if I get enough questions, I'll do a, a Q and a answering video. So leave those down in the comment section below. Um, and let me know uh, what you want me to talk about. Um, I'm always curious to see uh, what people have going on or, or, you know, what people want out of their content. So, yeah, let me know. Uh, oh, yes, I know you want more dog content. Well, we'll see. He's resting in the other room. We just we just took a walk. So I don't know if he's going to jump to coming over yet. Um, but, yeah, so plenty of time. Please be safe. Please do all that stuff that, you know, don't be a dick. Don't be like those kids in, in Florida that were like, I paid for this spring break trip and I'm going to take it. Yeah, those people are assholes. So, uh, yeah, just social distance. Wash your hands. Let's try and limit the spread of this so that we keep that curve down. Um, a lot of you don't understand uh, what that might mean. Or, or if you, sorry, I'm not saying a lot of you. If, if you don't understand what that means, it's basically the more people that are exposed, the higher the, the people that need to go to the hospital and then the hospitals are overwhelmed and they can't take people and you have avoidable deaths and all that stuff. So what we're trying to do is slow the spread so that the hospitals can maintain um, the people that are coming in and being admitted for the uh, virus or other things. So yeah, so it's flattened the curve. Um, I've tweeted a couple videos, uh, box videos that were pretty informative on, on Corona. So check those out if you're on my Twitter feed. Speaking of my Twitter feed, my handle is at Brock Sager. Uh, we did record the Comics Conspiracy podcast. We did it um, mobily, trying to keep that social distance thing going. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but you can, there'll be a link in the description below for that. You can check it out. Um, we talk a little more about Corona and all the effects. I talk about my Bloodshot movie talk um, and what I thought about it. Nothing. 
too crazy or in-depth, but just my general reactions to the film. So you can get those over there um, unless you really want to and you convince me to do another video and uh, I'll do it here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, is there anything else? Brody, is there anything else I need? No. There's nothing else I need to tell him? No. No? You sure? Oh, you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees, getting food sometimes, and getting products. Thank you very much to all the Patreon backers. It helps out immensely. During these times, it helps out to help your artists and creators out. So if there's a creator out there that you, you know, you were going to go to a con, check out that artist alley. I know um, the unofficial SDCC blog um, has compiled a list of artist alley people and their websites and all that stuff. Go check one of those things out. Um, I think it's, they're doing the hashtag. Um, it's like hashtag WonderCon, hashtag SDCC, and then online. So whatever the con, like acronym online, that's what, where you're, they're going. Um, you can find that stuff online, um, but ch definitely check out those um, artists, help them out, kick them a couple bucks, buy a print, something. Um, but yeah, help out those creators because in these times, artists do suffer immensely because we kind of need, you know, we kind of need a social group to uh, help support us because we are trying to give you you people are trying to give you know you're making content for people to enjoy uh so yeah so help out a artist um you can help me out if you want a little more directly any of the amazon links here or on conspiratorbrock.com click on those buy something i get a little cut thank you for the amazon credit um and then uh, you can also go to my ebay page where i have stuff that i'm getting rid of or stuff that i'm just selling uh, up there so you can that helps me out a little more directly so thank you to everyone who does do that and participate uh, yeah, I did that, Brody. I got that done. Anything else? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Do they need more dogs? Yes, they need more doggies. Okay, rope. Go to daddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want a hug? Come here. You want a hug? Come on. You want a hug? Come on. Come on. Come on. You got to come up here. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, hugs, hugs, hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. You stink. You a stinky boy. You a stinky dog. What? What? Yeah, you're a big boy. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. Oh. Oh, next time I gotta point the camera a little lower so they can see you. So, so that's it for this week. Um, remember, stay safe. Uh, wash your hands. Do all that wonderful stuff. Um, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you pick up. Let me know what's going on with your local comic shop, um, whether or not they are equipped to do online orders or they're doing the curbside pickup thing or how this is affecting you. Let me know what you, or you, you know, if you have a list of things you want to get, uh, like things you want to watch or things you want to read or get caught up on or ask for recommendations, all that wonderful stuff. So yeah, so I will see you next week.